about this venue, ladies and gentlemen? We are live at Falcor Bay. Alongside me, former world champion Johnny Nelson. It's going to be unbelievable. The fans, everybody around the world, the fighters. This is just one of those things. It's time for our tale of the tape. Eddie Hall, the world's strongest man fighting out of Leeds. 300 pounds. No one in the heavyweight division is as terrifying as this man. He'll face off against the man known as Joe Joyce. A massive 80 inch reach, six foot six inches tall. So much height behind this guy. There's an amazing reach advantage, which you do not actually realize is there until you get popped by that jab. The distance that's created is ridiculous. Talk about intimidation. Eddie the Beast Hall. And yes, you guessed it. He is a heavyweight. In fact, the world's strongest man. And he fights out of Newcastle, England. The juggernaut, Joe Joyce. One of the hardest hitters in the division. Not many fighters hit harder than the juggernaut. If this fighter knows how to use that reach, this is going to be a shut night. And now for the official introductions, we turn it over to the world-renowned Jimmy Lennon Jr. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, from Newcastle under Lyme, England, the first man to deadlift 500 kilos, the 2017 World's Strongest Man, here is Eddie, the Beast Hall. Hiding out of the blue corner from London, England, and standing at six feet six inches, here is a British Commonwealth International and European heavyweight champion, the juggernaut, Joe Joyce. An open air outdoor stadium. What a venue for this contest. Todd, it's a privilege and an honor to be here. You know what? I feel so, so lucky to be sat here talking about something I love. And what I say you must obey. Good luck. These athletes have promised us a war. Let's see if they deliver. Oh, that punch. Counter left. That punch lands. An open air outdoor stadium. What a venue for this contest. If you are on the losing side of this fight time and the heat is on, three minutes seems like three hours. It's the worst place to be, so you've got to make sure you prep right for this. And right now, I'm looking to fight that doesn't look like that prep time. Exchange punches. They are giving us a high tempo show. I hope this fighter realizes that defense is one of the scoring criteria in boxing. Keep an eye on this slugger. As you know, he's willing to take three to give one. That's his game plan, and it's worked out pretty well for him so far. With sluggers, you cannot let them get into a rhythm because this is how they train. This is how they prepare for fight. This is what they'll do all night. Do not dance their dance. You've got to use speed. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I gotta respect both of them more than happy. Beautiful counter punch. I don't think it's gonna be a boxing match. This is going to be a fight. for both these athletes. They won't give us a second to catch our breath. Nice counter punch. Good counter punching. They won't give us a second to catch our breath. That 
left counter was perfectly timed. You couldn't write a script like this. This is like Rocky versus Apollo. Left punch. Catch and shoot with the left counter. Good job. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Good counter punching for both these fighters. He is down big time in the scores. Every second, every minute of this fight is important. Every second, every minute of this round is important. You cannot afford to lose it. He's gone. I'm telling you, he's gone. Jump up. Here we go. Round two. Who's going to land the first big shot? Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet. Not until your senses have come back. an eye on this slugger. As you know, he's willing to take three to give one. That's his game plan, and it's worked out pretty well for him so far. Tactics out of the window. These guys just want to brawl. Ronda Rousey once told me when she gets into a fight, her mentality was minimum effort, maximum efficiency. Through the hook, didn't land. He's got to find a way to get around that reach advantage. Very smart, very sharp. This is a fit young man style that he's got to get inside that long reach. Not many fighters can do that. And he misses with that jab. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. And he just misses with that jab. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. A perfect counter shot. Neither one of them want this to go to the judges' scorecards. it is in most heavyweight fights, don't blink because one big shot and this thing could be over. We've got a couple of big units here, so I'm expecting power. You're going to have excitement. You're going to have drums because when these guys slow down, that's when the punches are going to run. Missed him with that uppercut. Nice counter shot. Not a lot of defense here at all. Great counter right hand there. Nice job landing with that right hand counter. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. like an eternity for them finally comes to a close. Wow, you know, I've been in fights like that. When you think you come up, bro, ring away. You walk back to the corner like you've just seen the sun. The bell rings and we start the third. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's being hurt. He's going to come out and put the pressure on. He's going to throw the kitchen sink at you. You've got to be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off. Be smart because he's going to try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs are gone. He knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. There's a counter shot. He blocks the uppercut. Power is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? You've got to be courageous when you get in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. You've just got to use brain there. Both 
both won a knockout, you can tell. He gets out of the way of that left hand. You hear people talk about a boxer's chin. Do they have a good chin? Do they have a glass jaw? Those are questions that are being answered here tonight. Touch. You know what? Sometimes on the belly of the ring, the fight is like that. When you punch him, you just want to win. You want that spaceship to come and lift you out there because you think, what the hell am I going to do now? Nice exchanges from both men in this ring. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. And this is that jab. Punch landed. Left counter score. Good left counter that lands. Not many of the people in the division hit like them. Nice offensive display landing that left counter. Which one of these athletes is going to be the first to go down? Counter punch. They're both good. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. You know that bell was sweet music to his ears. Wow, it's like two different leagues. Set him up, I think they'll take him out. He's ready to go. He's absolutely shattered. No oh, way, I love that. I love that. That's just sweet. You can see it and he'll ride it out. Go out there. Here we go to the fourth round. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get sucked in. Make him fight. Your fight. Hold him. Tie him up. Just until your head clears again. And your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. This fighter has tested their opponent's power and apparently isn't impressed as they continue to walk through all these power shots. Work the body, frustrate them, take the mind off the chin, take the mind off protecting everything around that. Work the body, use tactics. Sometimes it's so hard to actually outbox a fight and beat them on points. Catch and shoot. Counter left hand there. That one lands. No stamina, no injury, but still throwing punches. Nice counter. I think it's safe to say one of these fighters certainly has a significant speed advantage. You can tell who it is. So you're getting in there with something that's so fast, you're prepared to take a lick it because you've got to get some before you get in close. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. A very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. And he fails to score with that left hook. Good counter right hand again. What a world championship fight we're seeing, ladies and gentlemen. Nice counter shot with the right hand. He misses with that jam. Good counter punch. That counter shot lands. Which one of these athletes is going to say, I can't take it anymore? Scores. Nice counter shot. Nothing but air on that hook. 
This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Beautiful counter shot. The game plan does not seem to be working here. What's he have to do differently? Needs a knockout without a doubt. Needs to go out there and think, right, you know what? Next round, you're getting it. You're going to get a kitchen sink. And there's the bell for round five. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This fighter has determined that they can walk through any punches that their opponent throws, and that's a very confident spot to be in. This is when you get in the ring feeling like you're King Kong, because you know you've got a chin that is not going to get bent. There's no way this fighter can go punch for punch. Their resistance to these blows just isn't the same. Changes everything, especially in this division. Off the charts action from both of these fighters. All right. How do they use this fighter's aggression against them? Sometimes when you have a fight, the best way to beat a fight is not give them what they want. It's because they want to get you there, they want you to stand there, talk to show them, and have a terror. That's what they do in the gym every single day of the week. What you've got to do is you've got to frustrate them as they set their shots. Get out of the way! And they'll get so angry, so frustrated because they can't work. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Left counter punch for score. So much for boxing. This is a fist fight. We wanted action and they are delivering. She just gets out of the way of that right uppercut. How nervous would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this guy that can seriously hurt you? Todd, we know one of these fighters can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. Nice job landing that left counter punch. Still swinging with nothing left. The perfect counter lands. Hands with the right counter. You don't want to go tit for tat in there in this fight. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Well, he is glad to have heard that bell. The bell, sometimes it can be the sweetest sound. Let's start the six. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Which fighter will say no moss? This fighter has tested their opponent's power and apparently isn't impressed as they continue to walk through all these power shots. The problem with having a chin that everybody knows if they hit you, you're hurt, you're gone. You've got to protect that, but you've also got to get your shots off. And they forget, you can bang too. This fighter has tested their opponent's power and apparently isn't impressed as they continue to walk through all these power shots. We wanted action and they are delivering. Don't 
Don't let this fighter's speed fool you. There's some method to the madness. These are precision shots, and they're coming at lightning speed. This can be so frustrating. When you're almost such a fast fighter, fast fighter. Big, the biggest of them all crashes to the canvas. So they'll make it up, and this fight continues. And he just missed with that left jab. It doesn't always pay to be first. It pays to be last. Doing. There's nothing behind these punches. They both want to knock out, you can tell. She carries away that left hook. They are not going to let. So final 10 seconds of the round, and he is looking really sharp. Let's see how the game plan changes after that big knockdown. I love the response, though. Got back up, took a deep breath, thought, right, brush it off, get on with the job. I love that. I love that. I kept straight. Round seven, here we go. He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. What a knockdown. You know in the corner now, they're saying, when you get out there, jump on him. Do not give him chance to breathe. Bully him, throw him, push him down, punch him in the back. Keep letting the shots go, because you know the one shake your leg. They're like a Nazi away from getting stopped. Is, no matter how much speed you've got, timing beats speed. You've got to ruffle their feathers, Todd. You cannot let them get comfortable, drag them, get them complaining to the referee. Because once somebody with excellent foot speed and excellent power gets into a rhythm, the fight is over. When you've got someone with the hand speed that this fighter possesses, how do you deal with it? Beautiful counter shot. The bravery being shown here is just incredible. Power is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? That power, that power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the, the equalizer. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. They're both trying for a knockout. Nice counter shot. Caution being thrown to the wind. Big Eddie Hall took a big shot. True champion knows how to get out of trouble after they got into trouble, and it appears the onslaught is over, at least for now. Not a lot of defense here at all. He missed with that jab. Right jab just misses.
Good one. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. From this moment forward, he cannot afford to lose another round. Leaves a knockout without a doubt. Needs to go out there and think, right, you know what? Next round, you're getting it. You're going to get a kitchen sink. Round eight, and we're off again. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet, not until your senses have come back. Perfect counter land. And the world's strongest man is staggered. How did they not go down? This fighter's certainly not going to outthrow their opponent by any means, but they will, when they hit, be a lot harder. So one who draws first blood type, that's what you've got to look at. If you hit and you know you're in there with a banger, you've got to be on it, but you've got to be confident. When you're a power puncher, you're not as concerned with how many punches you throw. It's about how many you land and how hard they are. Someone's will will cave, but which fighter will it be? Quick punch scores. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. There's no way this fighter can go punch for punch. Their resistance to these blows just isn't the same. I've seen some fighters with a granite chin. You can hit them with a sledgehammer, they are not going to move. But then I've seen some mad punch. He caught him big time! As he weathered the storm, keeping those gloves up, the guard high, paying. You can see there's blood, and the referee's gonna take a good look at it. Okay, are you all right? Are you okay? And the referee's gonna allow him to fight. You'd like to see this fighter protect themselves a little better. Nice counter shot. This fight has a real good flow to it. The winner of this surely will get a world title shot. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. That cut is going to cause some problems. They might want to call a doctor over. My concern is the corner. Are they going to be too brave for their fighter? This is fight. It's so important now in the first minute. Look at him. He's absolutely knackered, man. He's knackered. Come behind each other and then let you set the door. And we enter the night. They're off their stools, and what a fight this has been. Will it continue? This is part of the game plan. You knew this was going to happen. He caught him big time. Oh, and what a huge punch. That huge punch sends him down. back up on their feet, but I'm not sure why. A huge opportunity! Can he cash in? <laughs> this fighter's sort of the death by a thousand paper cuts approach. They'll hit you a thousand times before you can land one. This can be so frustrating when you're in such a fast fight. 
fighter, fast fighter that can throw three, four shot combinations before you even let one up. That creates frustration and that's when it gets hard. Still waiting for this fighter to show some defensive ability. There's a counter shot. Referee calls time, and we'll look at the cut. You're taking too much, the fight is over. And yep, that's gonna do it. I think the referee forgot until all of a sudden, yeah, you know what, I better do my job here. Complete and total domination, and another stoppage win. Just like another like TKO, it's Teddy Pendergrass over. TKO is spot on. What a shot. You know what, the argument was there. The referee didn't know what to do, but he called it. Great shout.